This is a uh, pinion depth tool. And what this tool does is if you have a housing, bare housing, you have no idea where to start with pinion shims. This simulates the absolute most perfect pinion gear tooth to ring gear pattern, the perfect center line. This is simulating the, uh, the pinion, pinion gear itself. Now the way this works is you're actually going to use a brand new bearing because your, your, your pinion bearing, I'm sorry, your inner pinion bearing race is already driven into the housing. There's two races that are already be driven in that you actually have to replace, put them in the housing. So you use your inner pinion bearing and your outer pinion bearing to hold this set, set up nice and tight. Once this is all tight in the housing, then you add your, what they, these are called arbor discs, which is to simulate the bearing and races in the housing. And this is um, just the bar going across simulating the center line. This piece here is called a scooter block. And I'm not really going to try and touch this because it will fall. What you would do is you would pull this thing out, place it right here, and once you, when I'm not shaking, I'm steady, uh, once you find that this thing, you know, is steady and it's not moving, you're going to turn the dial to zero and you're going to zero it out. Once it's zeroed out, then you're going to place it on here and you're going to slide this thing over and you're going to slide it to the highest point of this shaft. Once you're at the highest point of that of this shaft here, you're going to take your measurement. And whatever your measurement is on the dial indicator is the amount of shims that you add to the pinion and it will give you your perfect pinion depth. From my understanding, this device puts it either dead on, and if it's not dead on, it's within a thousandth of an inch. What's great about this tool is every single axle housing is completely different. You can build 20 of these housings on the same assembly line. Every single axle housing will be slightly different. This tool is designed to use from a Dana 30 all the way to a Dana 80 axle. So it'll work in a variety of these different Dana axles as long as you have the correct gauge block in place. The reason I bought this because I have an axle housing that had no uh, no starting point on the pinion shims. If you have an axle, you're one in the rear gear and you have the existing pinion shims, <clears throat> you can take those pinion shims and place them onto your new pinion gear and give you a good starting point. I, I didn't have any starting point, so that was the reason I went with this. Uh, some of the parts are brand new, and some of the parts I sourced out on eBay, so I didn't have to pay the full price. But uh, everything I've read, they say that this thing is the most accurate way to, to go to measuring the housing. As you can see here, I'll uh, give you a little bit of a close-up here. And this is what it would look like in the housing to give you an example of how it works. So it's a pretty, pretty neat, handy little device. Some people would say don't waste your money, but eh, what the heck, I'll give it a try and, and see what happens here. I've read a lot of good things about the opinion depth tools, and the only ones I think I would go with would be this one here from Mopar Essential uh, Tools.com, or there's another company called uh, TND Machine. They're out of Salt Lake City, but uh, I prefer to go with this one because I think it was a little bit cheaper in the long run, plus I plan on just doing Dana axles. I'm not going to do all those other axles. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. There will be a, quite a bit more videos coming out here soon. Thank you.